is the glue that they sent over. Now I'm just cleaning off my forehead with some alcohol as the direction said on the glue. When applying the glue, I'm just going along the hairline and adding a little bit at a time. You guys can do this in sections if you want, but I'm just doing it all together because it needs to get tacky before you apply the wig. So yeah, you guys, and I'm just using the applicator that they gave me to uh, spread that out. And then I'm going to go back in with a little bit more glue because I did add just too little of a little. just putting the wig on my head and guys it probably was a better process of doing this however this unit is a tad bit small so putting it on all together made more sense to me than doing it in sections because I would have had a harder time but nevertheless um, yeah, I'm just putting on the unit and then I'm going to go ahead and use my blow dryer to uh, seal in the glue parts where the lace isn't completely laid down and you guys can put the glue underneath or on top of the lace it really doesn't matter because it's all seeping through the lace um, anyway so yeah so now I'm going back in with the powder to blend my lace a little better and then y'all I'm just really just checking it out because sis this glue is like holding this unit down y'all it looks really good this glue like this glue really like laid this wig down and yeah like I think it looks really good okay you guys so getting into the glue the glue again is called Sif I think I said stiff in the beginning but it's called Sif and it, it says uh, goddess of hair so these are the products it does come in a kit this is the glue and this is the remover and it as well comes with the applicator so yeah you guys uh, the smell to this glue y'all I don't know how glue normally smells because I don't use glue but y'all when I say this glue smells so good it smells like melon like very sweet so it's a very nice smell you guys um, it holds very well it has a very strong hold the next test that we're gonna do is to see um, if it's waterproof or not so I have my spray bottle with me right here so I'm gonna go ahead and spray the hairline down to see uh, how well it holds with the water and then after that um, I'll show you guys the results and then we're going to go ahead and remove it with this uh, lace bond remover so let's go so first I'm just adding the water to the hairline and I'm only doing it in the front where you guys can see and then I'm going to just kind of do a little tug or whatever to see if the unit lifts up. By the way you guys you can get this glue at Amazon, Ebay or EbonyLine.com. But yeah now that we're cleaned up we're going to go ahead and use the lace bond remover to remove the unit and I'm going to spray it on and then I'm going to massage it in the lace and you're supposed to let it sit two to three minutes I'm not sure how long I let it sit but I let it sit long enough and then I lifted the unit off of my head I uh, sprayed the water onto it and the lace balm remover worked magic um, it took the uh, wig right off of my head I did massage it through some on the lace just to like get it to you know working and I think it said that on the directions as you guys saw I was reading the reading the directions while I was doing it so yeah I just massaged it in and you know voila it took it right off my head so yeah, you guys the products work good Bye.